let's talk about husbands that can cook and clean. Husbands that can cook and clean. I'm sure there's a lot of boyfriends and fiancés out there that can do that. But this one is only for the husbands. I've been married 26 years this year. And uh, I was raised in the kitchen. I was watching my mama cook when I was a child. Now, I'm not a chef. But I can cook basic food, dinners. I can put together a meal. There's a lot of men out there who despise cooking and cleaning. A lot of men feel like a man sh shouldn't cook or clean. <laughs> they feel like that is the woman do the soul. Now, I believe, you know, what's the point of being married? Husband, wife, men have their role, wife have their role. Yeah, you know, I believe in it, but I don't believe in slave driving my wife, you know, and I look at cooking like a lot of men, like a art form, you know. Back in the days, older generations, most of them dead and gone now, them older men, older generation, they, most of them, wouldn't get in the kitchen and cook. They wouldn't clean. They believed everything was solely on the wife or the daughters. <laughs> they live by this standard. I don't do nothing. I go to work. I bring in the check. That's their job. Rightfully so. You know, that is the job of the wife or the women in the house. You got daughters and stuff. They supposed to learn how to run a house as they grow. They mamas are supposed to teach them how to be women and how to take care of the home because my channel is based on Babel, and this Babel, Titus, two, older women, train the younger women how to be good wives, good mothers, how to take care of the house. Because in the natural, it's the man's job to go out there and work, and we're dealing with spiritual. It's the man's job to go out there and preach the gospel and try, that the, what the apostles did. They left the wives at home to take care of the family. Men will go out on journeys. When they come back, they watch supposed to be right there with the kids, God and taking care of the house. I travel. When I go home on the weekends, I cook on a regular basis. My father-in-law, he cooks. <laughs> Holidays and stuff, he do almost of the cooking. My, my my birth dad, he dead and gone. He died over 20-something years ago. He could cook. He really wouldn't cook. But he could cook. He from the country. Most country men know how to cook. <laughs> City guys, eh. Country men, they got country experience. A lot of, like, if you... Memphis and Mississippi, anybody say they from, anybody live in Memphis, Memphis is really the country. Everybody live in these cities, especially from the South, they are country folk. Jackson, Mississippi, that might be the city, but it's still country. <laughs> a lot of people... A lot of people from down south move way up north, Chicago, and all these cities. Most of these urban area cities populated up north, they are from the country. You know, you got younger generations, they ain't from the country, but most of these urban cities are countryfied folks. But you have the city slicker still, 
men who don't cook, they don't learn how to don't take to cook. They depend on their girlfriends in fast food restaurants. They won't touch a grill. They won't touch a stove. If they, if they ain't got their mama or somebody to cook for them, they going to eat over somebody else's house or they going to go to the fast food restaurant and get them something to eat. That's how they live. We country men, husbands, my generation, my age, around my age and stuff, 40s and 50s, we believe in cooking. <laughs> we don't see it as a necessity or how to, a lot of men love the ideal of cooking. <laughs> my sons, I got four boys, all of them, my oldest son, he don't really cook. He's on the road too. He never really was a cook. But my second son and my third son, both of them really cook. But my third son cooked the most. He really taken to it. He do bacon and stuff. I think he want to be a chef. I said in one of my previous videos that I introduced them to fire years ago. Once I got them used to the grill and lighting the fire on the grill and stuff, they took to it. They love grilling. <laughs> I'm sitting to call the house at any time they be out there grilling or cooking something. They been wanting a Blackstone. My wife's supposed to been looking for one. She work at Kroger. She said every time they go on sale or something, some of them employees, they get them and have them. She want a black, they want a black stone. I would like to have one too. But I like that grill. I like that smoke. Now, here's another thing. I'm going to throw this in here too. If you don't have no charcoal, or you ain't using no wood, if you're not using smoke from a fire, You not barbecuing or grilling, however you want to do it. If you're using the gas outdoors, a gas stove outdoors, there's not a barbecue grill. <laughs> I remember that episode of uh, King of the Hill when Peggy and, uh, and his son went out and bought some charcoals. <laughs> When Hank found that out, he had a fit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hank on believing propane. I don't do propane. Now, if you get that uh, Blackstone, that's like cooking on a Waffle House stove, a Hood House stove. I would like to have one of them. But when you're talking about barbecuing and stuff like that, if you ain't using smoke, charcoal, grill, uh, wood, you ain't barbecuing, point blank. <laughs> yeah, I might be starting an argument. I'm looking to start an argument. But I love charcoal. I love wood. I love the smoky smell of food. I love cooking. My boys love cooking. I clean. I don't, you know... I clean with it necessary or sometimes when I'm at home, my kids, kids nowadays don't know how easy they have. That's why I be telling my wife, well, these kids nowadays, if they had to wash dishes one time a day, and that's all, they, what? Shoot, when I was coming up, we had a house full of folks and we'd wash dishes about three or four times a day. These kids got it easy. They go to school, get their lesson. I got good kids. They got good children. All of them good. Man, but it's kind of what me and my wife kind of differ in. It's like, man.
but I get in there and wash dishes from time to time. They all getting older now. Oh, uh, and you know, my son don't really, my older son not in the house no more. All of them that still live there, they have dish night. All of them getting up in age and now they at high schools and stuff. So I don't really wash dishes. I still go in there once in a while just to wash. You know, you start messing around the kitchen and stuff like that. Oh man, running water and washing dishes. Sometimes I rather really do it because a lot of times they'll skip over stuff. Won't do stuff the way I like. You know, I'm not a clean freak, but it's like they still have issues a little bit wiping the candles off and stuff like that. Looking over the kitchen. Make sure, you know, wiping stuff off the wall. They miss a lot of stuff. And sometimes they get tired of trying to draw their attention to it. You know, don't want to fuss about it. So I just do it myself. But, yeah, husbands that cook and clean. Cooking is an art form. Our ancestors, men and women, cook. Men, and, men got out there and experiment with meat and stuff and grain. That's how all this stuff the Amer America got now. Whiskey and all this stuff. Black folks started that stuff. Found out how to work with this and cook certain parts of the hogs and stuff. Certain, all this cooking and stuff came from us. Is it our, it should, is it our DNA? Barbecue and stuff. I can get in the kitchen and cook like good meals. I can, you know, prepare a dish with anything. Now, I'm kind of not keen on watching my <laughs> stuff like I should. Sometimes I get distracted and forget about some sometimes, you know. But most, most, most of the time, my cooking is good. I over season some of my stuff with pepper or a little bit too much salt to my wife cake. Now there's some there's like a lot of black men. We don't really measure and do all this stuff. We play it by the ear. <laughs> sometimes be too salty, sometimes be not enough salt. Sometimes most of the time be right on point. <laughs> my kids, they use a lot of spices, a lot of stuff that I don't Seasoned that I don't too much care for. Stuff with garlic in it, paprika, and all that stuff. I just use the basics. I use salt and pepper when I'm frying food and stuff. Sometimes a little seasoned salt. I use more seasoned salt and stuff when I'm boiling my food. Sometimes that seasoned salt sits on the surface of meat too much and it kind of Season salt have a mixture of stuff in it. And I'm not really, I don't really like that taste. But I use it real good. Real, a lot of it when I'm boiling meat. Chicken and stuff like that. But yeah, husbands. They cook and clean. A lot of women, a lot of wives. Don't have them type of husbands. <laughs> a lot of white hair hood they won't, they'll sit around and won't do absolutely nothing they won't wash their own clothes they don't believe in doing none of that yeah I wash you got to you, you you can't sit around and depend on people to do everything for you a lot of guys just lazy like that and they were raised like that they depend. They 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 depend on the woman to do absolute everything. If that woman ain't gonna get in that kitchen and cook, all he'll do is just get in there and make him a sandwich. That's his dinner. And a bag of fries, a bag of chips. Joe ain't gonna get in there and cook no roast. They ain't gonna get in there and cook no chicken. They ain't gonna get in there and make a meal. <laughs> They'll burn a kitchen down. Most of them hanging out with the 
with their male friends in the hood after work, if they go to work, most of them go to work drunk and high. Get off work and get high. A lot of women got it bad. A lot of women got hoods before this. Absolutely ain't no count. That stuff you do when you get, when you was a young man hanging out with the fellas and get, once you get old and get a wife and get a family, you can't do a lot of that stuff. Go home, make sure your home good. If you work an eight-hour job and go home every day, it's different than being on the road truck drivers. Now, I'm going to do some shows about that people, spouses that travel for a living. How is it? How y'all like that? A lot of you out there that are married to truck drivers and people that have to travel for a living. How, how you like it? How you like it? Some of y'all don't see y'all husband or spouses for there's a lot of women out there that drive trucks and travel and they husband be at home. How you like it? A lot of people love it, get used to it. A lot of people can't handle it. They like to see their spouse every day. A lot of people go out and travel for a living. And it'd be years, two or three years. You're in the military and stuff. If your family don't travel, it'd be two or three years before you see your family. Most truck drivers now stay out if they married for about 20 days, like what I'm on now. I was on a dedicated run. I was at the house every week, but I had to get off there. The places I was going, people were so nasty and ugly. There ain't nothing you can do but complain. It don't go nowhere, so I changed. So, yeah, husband that can cook and clean. How many of y'all women out there got, got it like that? How many of y'all women go to work and come home and your husband have dinner waiting on you? Kids be smacking. <laughs> My wife kind of depend on me to cook sometimes. I come home, she come, where the food at? <laughs> Last time I was at home, I made something like some uh, taco stuff but I cook my I cook my meat like a burger I put a big old I went to the store and bought me a big old pack of ground beef season it up put it in a skillet like a hamburger and chopped it up make chunks and then put the taco seeds and stuff on it and got some of them chips it was good my wife come home looking for it where is it You ate it all up. Well, yeah, I just bought a piece of, it was just one thing big enough for me. And I said, no, oh, it's all in the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, I like my meat. Taco meat and stuff, they make it. It's a place, but I do it at home. I like my meat to be chunky, like in uh, spaghetti. I like my meat to have chunks. Not just grinded up meat through the stuff. I like my meat to be chunky. <laughs> but uh, yeah, husbands, they can cook and clean. 